Let's get back to Star Jones. So, Star Jones. The View, uh, they were talking about the Osama bin Laden tapes that were released yesterday. New tapes yesterday. Uh, some of them making some, uh, it was a, a smorgasbord of ideas. It seems like he'd been away for so long uh, that he hadn't been in touch with us in a while. And he kind of threw a bunch of stuff into this tape. I like when it's just Osama going, I hate you. Allah hates you. We will continue trying to kill you. Uh, whenever we get the opportunity. But in these tapes, he's hinting that he might want a truce with Uncle now Sam. Now it's all about, like, pulling out. Now he's got, like, exit strategies for us, and, and, and he wants to maybe negotiate on some kind of peace scenario in at least Afghanistan. I think he's sick of uh, getting bit by spiders. <laughs> running, <laughs> just running. He wants out of the goddamn cave. <laughs> All that money he's got, and he lives in fucking bugs are crawling up his ass every night. He's getting bit by spiders every night in a cave going, man, I, I have a billion fucking dollars I can get my hands on right now. He's got three ragheads whose job it is just to pick the bugs out of his beard every day when he wakes up. <laughs> Pick the bugs out of my beard, you... Uh, and he's eight feet tall, so you yeah. know, he can't oh, even how get hard up in a cave and stretch it. How hard. Oh, I was telling The Anthony. second he comes out of the cave, they just have, like, predator drone things set for eight-foot guy. Yeah. Like, any eight-foot guy it sees, it just blows up. <laughs> so he can't even leave the fucking cave. And he's a man. He's a guy. He's a person. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like... These motherfuckers, these anxious motherfuckers are like, you know, okay, what today, man? What's the day, Osama? And he's just like, oh, what? I got to. What, can I not hate the medical? What? <laughs> it's fucking Monday, my friend. <laughs> it Look, looks like someone has a case of the Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Monday, my friend. Martin Luther King birthday, my friend. <laughs> Osama, I am here as your soldier to do as you command to kill the infidels. And I've not even had my coffee. <laughs> I've not even had my coffee this morning, and already, oh ah, you are here to bother me. Doing the thumb and index finger over his eyes. Oh. <laughs> what, 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 what? Um, what, what? <laughs> yes, we still hate America. No, I am not losing my passion for Islam. <laughs> but, but one day, <laughs> I think old dog's getting weak, my friend. No, don't you ever say that. Man. Don't. Look, look at him. He's picking stones. He tells his boys <laughs> that he's going to take a three-day weekend. <laughs> look, I <laughs> Allah, hear you. You will surely be turned into a pillar of salt. <laughs> not speak of him in this way. He's probably trying to grow shit up in the fucking mountains in Afghanistan. It's like, I'm trying to grow a tomato. It's just like it, it, a tomato garden. <laughs> you think at this point he's thinking, ah, it seemed like a good idea at the time. But, <laughs> fuck, man. You know why? In this shit sucks. In ter and this is in terms we can understand and what we've been talking about in terms of celebrity he's not quite as big as he was right after the bombing that was like his big oh he's wanted but he's not as big as he was right after his biggest performance. Yeah, that was well, in Zeppelin IV. Yeah, that, I mean, that was huge. That, that was the Black Album. That and was, unless that you was got it. Now he's, he's like fucking b the band Boston. All right, well, We're just sitting here waiting for his next album to come out. And he gave us Cool the Engines. Thanks, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now, oh, like, okay. Yeah, so why, maybe you, could, you guys could have, like, you know, got together a little bit more than an hour <laughs> yeah. before you made that third fucking album. <laughs> Summer. Do you Holy think that, crap! Do you, do you, on on the list of horrible motherfuckers, yeah, is he in the top five? Maybe is he going to go oh, down in the top five? This guy is definitely num. I put him at number two. Well, you can't put him at number two. You got him. Well, well, Hitler's Hitler's number one. Number one. He'll uh, always be number one. Mussolini's number two. No one cares fucking about Mussolini. He made the trains run on time. <laughs> I put Slobodan Milosevic above. We Osama. don't care though. I go with Idi Amin. You're talking Idi world. The top, you're talking top world, five. then. <laughs> you're not talking about how Americans oh, feel how about we these feel people. About them? Oh, I'm talking about enough. how we feel. Fair enough. Hitler's number Hitler's one. Number one. And on the planet. That yeah. motherfucker's the Elvis of fucked up motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I guess Osama. He's the king of terrorism. Oh, oh, well, I'm killing all the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna gas them Jews. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna gas them. <laughs> oh my God. Well, so just let me kill some Jews. <laughs> you can do what you want, but I just want to kill some Jews. The king of evil. Oh. The Elvis. You can do what you want, but. <laughs> oh shit! <coughs> Too good. Yeah, he's the Elvis of uh, blue of suede evil. juice. <laughs> blue suede juice. Yeah. So Bin Laden did this uh, latest tape. Oh viva Auschwitz! <laughs> oh, viva Auschwitz! <laughs> he's just Elvis of evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, Osama is just number two with his audio okay, tapes. Fair enough. I don't know how history I, might put him. You know, later in the in in the years go, that go by, perhaps he'll drop uh, in the ratings. But uh, he's up there for now. He's up there. That you know who's trying to really grab on is that Al Zarqawi guy. He's trying to really, uh, Mister Head Muckety Muck, chopping off heads over there in uh, Iraq. He's trying. He's vying for position. I, I, I think he's always going to, as, as long as Osama's around, unless he does something to Osama, he's always going to be... Second fiddle. Yeah, he's always, yeah, but it's like the mafia. The base is I, I, I bet the the he wouldn't mind, you know, taking him out. Yeah, Osama's well, because he probably got thinks he's in, the, he's in the front line. He's in the trenches, and Osama's just Unless, uh, he's making like tapes. Big Paulie Castellano, Thanks, Osama. Sir. Osama's probably then, like Big Paulie, yep. And then El Zarqawi's like Gotti. Like Gotti, yep. Yeah. Just waiting. Yep. Yeah, he might. Yeah, I think you're right too, man. Mm. Can you imagine Osama living his life though, wondering if this is the day that one of his guys close to him is going to rat him out? Every day, the tension like you and said, pressure. This no matter what under. you think, this guy is a human being, and the and what's going through his head on a regular basis. And with the rewards that are out there, like they, they're all living in shit to protect this guy, and they know if they turn him in. It's a palace. It's wondering if today's the day they find the cave, or yeah. you know. I think they would have did it by. I mean, it's what is it up to fifty mil or some crap yeah, like that? But you got to think that they have to know where he is. But anybody that knows with all where the he people is, around is on the list. Yeah. Anybody yeah, but then those people going? have people like they they communicate with. They, Not one person slip it up and go and guess what? But they're all he's terrorists. up in this hill right behind me here. Mm. Yeah, but it, but it, it waters down eventually. Terrorists have friends that aren't as much terrorists. And they have families, and that guy's... A, there's a t from, I'm just saying, there's got to be... Here's a chain right here. Here's a chain of linking Osama bin Laden to us. Six degrees of bin Laden? It's, yeah, six degrees of bin Laden. He was in front of a camera or in front of a, a tape recorder mm. taping his latest statement. That had to get to Al Jazeera. Right. So, somebody that was with Osama bin Laden, had to physically take the tape and go somewhere. Right. No, no. Why can't we get the NYPD? You think they're emailing? You can easily do this. This is, this is. I mean, you know, I think a little paranoid ways of, of, of just doing things, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think that you can kidnap somebody, uh -huh. blindfold them, drive them the 17 hours up in up to, up to the Afghan hills, um, give, them, give you a tape, you know, yeah. drive you back. Give you that, say you give it to da, 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 and th those people, those people are sympathizers, and they'll just give it to Al Jazeera and not that. even know. Yeah, I do not there. know, my friend. They I took don't know. me blindfold. Yeah, but yeah. that's the story the news should be doing is, you know, how they got that tape. Yeah. Well, we got it from this guy. Well, yeah, do the drug find thing. Find that guy. Do and the then, drug thing. And then find out where he got it that's and right. find out where he was. Wait, wait, wait. Can you, you think, motherfucker, they can't even trace... Who bootleg transporter two in Chinatown? <laughs> you think they can fucking like find? They cannot find that person. Uh, this is a little more important, Patrice. I'm yeah, just saying. Transporter two. They want it's big. They want it just as it's, it's, it's costing money in this country. Things that cost money, you know, is just as important. Two as guys. Take two guys. Put them on each side of the door at the Al Jazeera building. And look for some suspicious-looking guy with a fucking videotape. Yeah, then head. you grab him and go, where'd you get that from? Where'd that come from? And then he he'll tell you, and no then you go to that guy. Who, you don't think they thought of that already? 
Not saying yeah. that you're not a genius, Anthony. Uh, or yeah, but why do you think they fought of that shit? But the news should do the story on this. Like, you know, why they can't trace this tape to anything. He comes down, he's, he's the tape, my friend. And then he, he just walks away and they go, okay, follow him. He just walks. They follow him for six months. To some Nothing. Some tea <laughs> joint. <laughs> right. Nothing. Because they're busy kidnapping another person. Well, Nino's got a good one here from Jersey. Nino. Yeah, what you need to do is send Dirk's Bentley and send that <laughs> in. I am no missing for Dirk Bentley. <laughs> we must follow the videotape guy and find Bin Laden. <laughs> I, and, and here's another conspiracy theory. I'm Donald might... Brooks <laughs> with the CEO. I am the head of intelligence with the CIA. We're looking for the Bin Laden tape. <laughs> Donald Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> the most American fucking name. I, <laughs> dick. They just, could you name the guy a German fucking name in one movie? Oh, really? I, yeah, just a few syllables. <laughs> make it a little believable. Uh, Anthony Stevens, pleasure to meet you. I'm here on a, a grave important espionage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, where's the Bin Laden tape? All right, so everyone's discussing the latest Bin Laden tape, and yeah, and he hints on this tape that he wants a truce with Uncle Sam. Some kind of truce, and uh, you know, intelligent people aren't buying that horse shit. No, the uh, uh, American government was very quick to come out and say we don't even negotiate with it. With it, this is not even. In the realm of possibility, right? Go Which fuck is yourself. So that's the one thing about this. This uh, well, I like this country for a lot of reasons, but that's one one of those those things, those precedents that I really do appreciate is that they don't negotiate with terrorists. If you are caught, you are in deep shit. You think behind the scenes, some kind of covert little maybe chat with someone's going on? Not it. It's possible. Happened but, in uh, the Iran uh, Contra. Well, we we do illegal shit like that. Sometimes you you kind of. We're not directly negotiating with the terrorists. We're negotiating with this guy. Well, we need Who's a drug. Negotiating we need a drug, we need a yeah. drug dealer land to intermediary, fly just, right? Just, just to fly planes. But I mean, I, I think it's, I think it's, it's, you know, that's the one of the best things that because I think if if you don't if you negotiate with them, oh, it's then over. that means it's just everybody's just going to start doing that's fucked up shit to it. Money in their pocket, right there. They know yeah. how. Then they know what they got to do to get us to fold, All is right. to uh, kidnap people, chop their heads off, and then we'll give in. Well, here we go. Star Jones. Stupid. This mm -hmm. is what she had to say about the tapes. Now, if you're the president and you hear this audio tape, particularly if they prove that it is his voice, what do you do with that? I'm annoyed that he's still around to make audio well, tapes. Well, he is. Well, he is. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know. Maybe. 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 The audience. Uh, 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 she's annoyed. Heroes. Wow, that's really going out on a limb. I'm annoyed. And they, and they don't even hear. It's just that there's a rhythm. I, you know, you, I've been doing comedy forever. You can really brainwash audiences. You just have to have a certain rhythm. Just say nothing but go, oh, oh, some, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I gotta interrupt for a second. Mike from the Bronx, NBC did uh, describe how tapes get to Al uh, Jazeera. Mike? Really? Hey, what's up, fellas? What do you got? Hey, on that? Mike. What do you uh, say, Bill? Hello there, you beautiful mocha prince. Okay, go crash. Uh, <laughs> All right. You really want it? <laughs> Jesus ain't taking that wheel. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Mike. They had, uh, they had a system of 25 couriers. They would pass it over the course of 8 to 12 weeks. That's why every time they have uh, the tape, it's referencing news that's two, three months old. They said a lot of times they might kill a couple of couriers, just, you know, scare the other ones into keeping their mouths shut. Wow. So it's really hard to infiltrate. Can you imagine your pick to be a courier? Like, oh, no. Uh, oh, come on, man. Thank you for this honor. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. Uh, take this. Take this. Or you're fired. What? Uh, <laughs> you're gonna, yeah, you're going to kill me anyway. Yeah, you think your job sucks. Can you imagine? <laughs> you're pulled aside. Guess what your job is today? No. Oh, Sama has made the tape. It must get to Al Jazeera. We have one tape that is his. Ten decoy tapes. 
All decoy tape couriers will be killed. Oh, you shit. do not know which is authentic tape. Take tape. Pick a tape. Oh, <laughs> God. Okay. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, let it ride on me. Mother luck. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. <laughs> big money, big money, no whammies. And stop. Oh, you stopped on a tape of the 1968. Uh, uh, <laughs> NCAA championship. <laughs> oh, my Damn it. God. Pick a day. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I might even be able to help you out. Okay. Okay, pick a tape. Um, hold on, hold on. Very nerve wracking. Okay, pick a tape. Make it Osama. Make it Osama tape. Osama tape. Nothing bad. No death. No decapitation. No shootings. And, and stop. Oh, stop on whammy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking genius! <laughs> oh, the pen, oh, the tape, the tape. Oh, oh, which hand is it in? It behind my back. Oh, 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 everybody no. pick a tape. But you got this. Oh, big money. Oh, wait, 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 you got this. <laughs> <laughs> next oh, courier. Yo. Next courier. <laughs> Oh, do I have to? Okay. You need a spin? Uh, yes. Uh, all right. Okay, I feel lucky. Osama, I feel lucky. Pick a tape. Okay, make it Osama. Make Osama Bin Laden. Lay this tape. I, I take it to Al Jazeera. No whammies. No whammies. Please, please. I need good Osama Bin Laden tape. And stop. Oh, no. It's not Bin Laden. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Which one is the real? <laughs> That's uh, gotta blow. Yo, the Leo. Yo, the Leo. What was that on uh, the price of the price? Yo, the Leo. Yo, okay. <laughs> okay, we are going to play Osama tape Blinko, where we drop <laughs> ten <laughs> tapes <laughs> down, and your names corresponding on the bottom. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Uh, that's a good idea. Osama Danza. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is tape number five? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. He gets it. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. The curry again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's got to be awesome. Big money, big money. Oh, big money, no whammy. Accurate tape. Accurate tape. Oh, that's oh, great. All right, let's get back to the view and these dopes. Right. Star Joan especially. I mean, sir, but beyond that, let's say it is his voice. Once you get beyond being annoyed, what do you do if you're the president with that information? I think you investigate it, and then you, you can't give it too much weight. I mean, if we, if we gave that much weight to every single threat that came through, we'd be in a lot of trouble. You can't just open up the land and give it to Osama bin Laden so that they can then use that to train troops and then really attack us four years down the road. I, I agree with you. That. Yeah. That, by the way, is the right answer. That but, is the but, only answer. But now I'm only thinking of Patrice going, uh, blah, 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 blah. That was from the chick that used to eat bugs for, uh, for Survivor. Really? Yeah. Uh, that was the right answer. Oh, the dispensable one. Absolutely. The one that they replace every so often? Yeah, the young one. Yeah, the young one. That, does, that doesn't deserve a, an opinion. <laughs> that's how, no, that's how they treat the, the young one on that show. Yeah. You're I too young to actually have a real opinion, but we'll listen yeah. to your cute little <clears throat> opinions. They, and no one listens you to You ain't been one. through what I've been through, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your snatch ain't see, dry yet. See, <laughs> I, think, I think that... Um, see, I think that... <laughs> Yeah, that's real cute there, blonde girl, but I was a lawyer, and I know. Mm -hmm. And I married a faggot. I married me a faggot and lost a bunch of weight. And I think I look good, but my head looks like a stretched out milk dud. Oh, 
She and her eyeballs. Holy fuck. I don't know fuck. what the hell is going on. She looks like one of those deep sea fish you pull into your boat <laughs> and like the pressure it's that they're used eyes. to living. Yeah, it's all eyeballs. Yeah, because the pressure. Because the pressure <laughs> that the they used to the body. They used to live in under the pressure to keep them all intact. <laughs> you call her an anglerfish? An anglerfish. <laughs> big angler. Got big worm in front of her mouth. Star angler girl. Star anglerfish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks like a black frog. They're always wet, like a wet, like. Bulldog eyes she's got. <laughs> she lost all that weight. Oof. Oh. She looks like no she's melting. Yeah. And then I, and then, and then. Oh, that's cute, girl, but let me tell you my opinion. But I just want to say, and. Mm -hmm. Here we go. More, more uh, mm -hmm. from, from the view, girls. I, I tell you that. Why would you trust this man? I don't I have given us no reason. But I don't trust him, but I would. Anything that gives me the opportunity to seek peace, I'd at least check it out. This Osama bin Laden seems like a reasonable man. I think we ought to negotiate. With who? He said he'd let us go. With who? We're not at war. Like, we're not at war with Osama bin Laden. It's like, how do you negotiate with, like, he's not, he can be like, look, we don't. You we know what this is. We don't. We don't. We, I'm not in war with you. I'm just doing fucked up shit to you. How can you negotiate? He's a criminal. That? He's a criminal. It's like negotiating with a murderer or a bank robber. Like, all right, we'll let you go. It uh, you just can't don't do negotiate. It. Yeah. All right, it watch, can... watch the road warrior, and watch the scene where the people st where humongous goes, just leave the oil and walk away. I will give you free passage through the desert. Just walk away. And people in the compound are like, hey, it sounds all right. Let's do it. Guy's asking to negotiate. The second you try to leave, what happens? you got doom buggies and uh, motorcycles and crossbows <laughs> on your ass. Humongous. Humongous. <clears throat> Lord of the Wasteland, humongous. <laughs> the Ayatollah. Of rock and roller, humongous. <laughs> Big intro. A great fucking gag. I humongous. Love the humongous. Yeah. And that's what, that's what Osama his, is. Keeps baby. his vicious guys on leashes. And humongous, baby. That's that's Osama. Humongous is humongous. Warrior of the wasteland, humongous. All right, more Star Jones. It gets better here. But he's made it very clear that his goal, the goal of his organization, is to destroy America. He's made that clear. Well, he says that we're the clear. devil. Right. And, but, but, you know, people make deals with the devil all the time. But if your plan is very clear. We make deals with people that we don't like. I mean, we made deals with Saudi Arabia. That's we right. don't like their human right. rights. But they have we not come out and China. said well, our, our plan, our goal, our mission is to destroy you. But they he's figured made it clear. But, but he's, he's also figured, figured out that it's not working. Maybe right. he well, his mind. You know, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, I think maybe we <laughs> Changed his mind for him. Changed his mind. We changed his mind so you for him because he's not with terrorists. I don't think you negotiate with terrorists, but I do think you figure out whether or not there is a solution that is diplomatic that does not yeah. result in. I mean, you know what? What, what do we have to lose to check it out? That's right. Right. Checking it out is fine. This, but isn't, this isn't a deal. I mean, this is more. I, I read it. It seems more like an ultimatum than anything else. Tried to in disguise of a deal. I mean, yeah, I don't uh, believe in the ultimatums, especially from him. Look. But I oh my God. Oh Jesus. What a babbling ass. She she is actually considering a dialogue, diplomacy, with this animal. There's no diplomacy. Oh, well, we negotiate with Saudi Arabia. Yeah, they, we have trade deals with them. Yeah, they're ruthless motherfuckers over there. You steal something, they'll chop your hand off. A little adultery going on. Who knows what they do? Gouge out your vagina with a <laughs> spade shovel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're pretty uncivilized over there, but they are a sovereign nation mm. that we deal with. We deal with China. One of the you know, human rights in China, it's an abomination over there, those people. And we deal with them. We go there. We smile with their leader. Or Bush smiles, and they and they forget about the heads being lopped off. And, we get and the panda bears from there. Yeah, the cute panda the bears. The cutest little panda bears. <laughs> uh, they look like they're wearing little masks. That's the and, biggest problem. Is these and they're adorable, and they are ruthless. Yeah. But they figured out they have stuff we want. And and we have stuff that they want, and they're willing to exchange money over it. If terrorists came out with the next big thing that Americans loved, and we actually <laughs> had a trade deal with them, all would be forgiven. What do you think? We loved fucking Japan after World War II? 
You think all of a sudden we went from shoving a flamethrower in a cave and watching their barbecued asses come running out so we could shoot them? We went from that, and a couple of years later, you know the type of hatred it takes to fry someone with a flamethrower and then shoot them as they come running out of a cave? That isn't, that isn't, well, it's my job as a soldier. You hate that motherfucker. You hate everything having to do with it. A few years later, we're buddy-buddy. Because they're sending cars over here, we're sending them iron, there's money being exchanged, and it's profitable. We hated Germany. Same thing. Now we're buddies. Why? All of a sudden, our ideology is the same. We put our arms around each other. We like swinging pewter steins back and forth to march music. <laughs> it's all about trade and money. And what can you do for us? What could we do for you? And how much money can be exchanged in the process? To, yeah. I don't know. I don't, Terrorists I don't feel like, have you know, nothing. We're ever gonna like be, you know, in in cahoots with Osama. Man. I don't know. We are with Saudi Arabia, is what I'm saying, and that's as close as we are right now to being in bed with Osama. Yeah, but they, he hates. He fucking hates Saudi Arabia. He hates them because of the, they, that they're in cahoots with us. Well, as he far hated them before goes. that, though. He just hated them anyway, dude. That, he's like. He, he feels like they sold out yeah. Islam and he just hates them dudes. He hates oh he hates um uh, uh 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 fucking Saddam, who we should just put back in office. Yeah. Just put that fucking guy back in office. I'm all for that. There, there was no insurgents <laughs> when that motherfucker would go in your mama's house and throw her head through a you know, through one fist. of those mud houses. It it just why did one of his fuck sons with him? one of his sons want to fuck your wife and you stand up to him. The next day, firing squad for you. <laughs> you think there's going to be insurgents in the day? You think there's going to be bombs on the side of the road That's when the thing. army, yeah. when the Iraqi army comes through? They constantly disrespect this country because of our goofy movies, because they just really think that we are, we really are like they didn't do that speech. I that whole thing, you know, I I have rights in this country. You yeah. can't just hit me. You can't just kill. They don't believe that we will go do something so horrible. And 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 the, the Japanese will tell you. Oh, that's oh, me then. I will be out in one day, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back on the street, fucking your women. It's always that scene in the movie. He, 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 he screamed like a stuck pig. What you say? <laughs> I said he screamed like a stuck pig. Now you remember that infidel when I beat the rap. <laughs> he, he pulls the gun. He pulls the gun out, and his partner goes, Don't do it! It's not worth it! It's not worth it! Yes, put your gun away! You will not shoot me! <laughs> All right, well, you got to hear the last clip from Star Jones. This, this is the one that will piss off a lot of people, too. We shouldn't make those movies anymore. No, man! <laughs> Undermining our shit. Watch how uh, Star Jones simplifies the whole thing. All here. right. It could be a way to save face. You know, Bush is yes. looking for an exit strategy. I don't this think may save be a face with him. Personally, well, no, but you know what? Nice. Remember in the Cuban Missile Crisis when Kennedy made a deal behind right. the scenes and said, "Oh, we'll take our things out right. of Turkey." Blah blah blah. Something well, like Kennedy that was has pointing to be done. missiles, right? No. Look what happened. Exactly. I think, yes. Kind of yes. Yeah, but uh, you know, at some point, one of these men has to put it back in his pants and zip up the zipper. Uh, at some really. point, yeah, your we husband have to do it. That. I can't talk I like that when we're talking yeah. about presidents. Yeah. You know? I'm sorry. I mean, and Osama's not a president. I don't think this was about somebody whipping it out. Do you I'm think not... that all of our problems was about that? No, I mean that it's metaphorically. Not... I know, but you know I what? Don't, I don't think that, that all of this I'm, is about I'm a little, that. I'm a little tired of posturing back and forth. You know, right. the, you guys posturing. are the devil, so right. we're going to destroy you. And then That's it's not posturing. You know, but no, That's exactly Osama, what he thinks. But the... That's a, you know what? He can't destroy us. If we really wanted to, we can make that whole place a parking lot. Right. Everybody knows that. That old oh, gag. Holy crap, that old gag. Make it a parking lot. And then lot. what do you do? Who wants to park there, you Who dumb wants bitch? to park all the way over there? That Will there be ferry well, service across we, the you Atlantic? Hey, look, <laughs> right. man, they Are we going to be shuttling people across the... I'm not in complete disagreement with what just came out of her fucking mouth. Really? Really? That's how we can do it, and it it will be fucking uh, Mick Ala land, and 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 it'll be fucking trains and fake rivers. And if we decided to do that, man, remember we dropped the mushroom. We let, we set the precedent with what we will do yeah, but, to yeah. a motherfucker if but what we we're really saying, feel like mm -hmm. it. But what we're saying, we're sick of hearing, make it into a parking lot. Cause then what? We go there. You know what the age? Hot for over what? there. For what? There's one giant parking lot. 
We ain't using that. Before the radio, you could have helped put in the air what conditioning system over there and fucking we, yeah. <laughs> nice hotels. We, first of all, we ain't, we ain't be doing never tailgating? using that a bomb <laughs> like, again. What, what do you do? We we are we are never going to drop that bomb again. Just because we did it in the 40s, that means nothing. It's like the, you know what the atomic bomb is to us now. It's like Amos and Andy. Yeah, it was there. But you're sure as shit ain't seeing it on TV today. Uh, it's so politically sure, incorrect but, but to it, nuke people. But it politically incorrect. <laughs> it's so it's worse than <laughs> it's worse than any kind of racist TV. Al Jolson will hit the stage sooner. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime guy. Are you saying Al Jolson should drop the bomb? If it gets dropped, it should be dropped. Just by drop it by Al Jolson. I'm going to drop a bomb. Should fly over with a big <laughs> nose art on the bomber of uh, Aunt Jemima. <laughs> Flying over the... We'll never do that again. I, well, it, but that's what kept us in the... Uh, keep the it, I mean, that particular move kept us... Where we are today. Right, the muscle men. That, Look at what we, we did. That Look we, what we, we did twice. The, the fear that yeah. we would do that. And and again, I mean, World War II, the, the whole Japanese thing, it's like, remember, man, those people were just as frightening to to the country, uh, the kamikaze oh, yeah. motherfuckers, that whole idea that this goose going to fly his plane into me yeah. and don't give a fuck. Don't forget, it's like we, we dealt with that enemy that that horrible oh my god enemy before but the problem was they were centralized had a leader that if the leader said all right the jigs up enough of this they stopped they stopped they they did everything for their emperor and when when uh that was it dropped a couple a bombs they decided to stop there's no like one guy even if we get osama and he says, uh, stop, uh, you get him on TV, uh, please stop, no more terrorism against U.S. It wouldn't stop. There's so many different cells and factions. That's why this the whole war is weird. doesn't work like the old school wars where you, we're bombing their capital right now. Where's, where's the capital of terrorism land? <laughs> ain't no capital. We'd have nuked the shit out of it. We would have pulled out a nuke for that one. If they were all here, we live in terrorist land. It's, a, it's like one big city. You know, they all live there. They do their terrorism shit and then come, honey, I'm home. You know, <laughs> suburbia. You got the call. From who? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike in New Hampshire's got a great observation. Mike, what's up? Yeah, uh, I think that uh, the nuclear bomb is much like the C word in a stable marriage. You always got it in your arsenal, but you ain't never going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. you, but you use it to do what? <laughs> to, that is the last resort. Right. But if if your wife is, if you had known to say that to her once mm -hmm. and it crushed her, in, yeah. in terms of like it, it was a crisis, and you said you fucking cunt, and she just went, oh my god, and that, and you got through it. She, she probably won't get you to the point where you once she knows you'll use it, she's not gonna fucking fuck around with you. Yeah. She's not gonna try to uh, invade Cuba yeah. no more. If you said it, but you don't want to desensitize that word either. You want it to always have the punch, have so you the, can't use it at will. Right. You must use your traditional. Uh, yeah, we can't weaponry. do it. But if things got ugly, really ugly, yeah, d d we we're known to use it. That's what I'm saying. That's what's keeping China in line is that we are just known to do fucked up things. Yeah, that's got to scare the crap out of uh, you know? other nations. I mean, if if it was China that had dropped two A bombs back in the 40s, we'd still be going. Eh, we they, they did drop two A bombs. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think you got. We're we still nervous. It, it, it just it's like okay. It's like on 9/11, those planes. Like he, this. It's almost like you go uh, it, when you was 10 years old. If you had a bully, and the bully punched in the face, hit you in the face, and then you're 25 now, and he's still threatening to punch you in the face. He's not gonna punch you in the face. He just keeps using the fact that he once hit you, right? And it fucked you up until you kind of go, you know what? These some pussy ass motherfuckers. <laughs> now they thought we were pussy ass motherfuckers. On 9/11, that's the whole thing. Cause we really are on this level. Mm -hmm. I gotta get my footnotes. We are because our country's not about like hardship. Our country's about somebody trying to live right, make money, mm -hmm. go in the pools, get some pussy, drive a nice car. That's our uh, that's our thing. But now you made 
terrorism a part of our thing too. Yeah. So you, there's nothing else you're gonna be able to do now. You can't. You're not gonna be able to fly another plane into a building because no. the reason I, I truly believe this, the reason it happened the first time is cause of movies because they thought we was gonna land in. A, we seek an asylum. We're landing in in, in yeah. Potunga, and and we have asylum. You will be let go. And then they did that fucked up shit. Yeah. So they fucked it. They did the only thing. It once. It that's it. They can't do nothing else no more. So they tr these tapes. He knows he can't do shit no more. What else can they do besides grab a couple of people over there who's trying to build? buildings in Iraq and grab them up. Yeah, they're grabbing off. the wrong people, too. I mean, and, it, and it's working for me. It worked for me. You don't have to cut a head off for me not to ever go to Iraq. <laughs> yeah. Like, Colin used to Colin used to always say, hey, man, why don't you come? And I didn't make no bones. I'm not going to be peer pressured into getting my fat fucking head cut off. Oh. I'm not going over there to entertain nothing. Colin's head looks bad enough. Imagine it on a pipe. On a, on a <laughs> goddamn on a pipe. Stick. With that half-closed eye and half... <laughs> it, fuck that. Smirk on his face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I ended up here. <laughs> this is what you get for me trying to be sarcastic with the fucking. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm sorry. Hold on. Let's go to Peter in Massachusetts. Peter. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, uh, Patrice, I agreed with you yesterday when you called that girl a cunt, but today you have no idea what you're talking about. So just uh -oh. shut up. Okay, well. Talk if, to me. Maybe you can explain a little more, elaborate that. Uh, don't just call point. me a dumb nigga and then just, that's it, motherfucker. <laughs> that's just it. fucking let me know why, where, where I don't what, know what I'm talking what, about. What's the problem? Uh, yeah, I'm punching out. Wow, he had nothing. Wow, okay. He just decided he to just call you me. out and had nothing. <laughs> he just called me stupid. Oh, and I, like the, I like the guy that said that, uh, the, oh, line seven is gone. Yeah, they, they, they all went away. He's the one that said that, uh, Star Jones thinking is like the, uh, lawyer guy in Die Hard. Or actually the office worker guy. Hans, you know, Booby, you know I'm your white knight. Genius. <laughs> that that was fucking genius. That shaking, sweating, pisses pants guy. I'm not saying anything that that's saying. I'm not agreeing with her on in in her her context is different than mine. But I'm saying that that you know this this country. What this, we're not. People think we're this 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 these pussies. This not. We gotta understand. It is what it is. Don't get offended mm. for the fact that our country does some fucked up shit. And I like that about us. So, so don't get like extra on this this American thing when you know we do a couple of things and we and we're capable of doing shitty stuff, man. A lot of the stuff we do. I'm not talking war. I'm talking things that piss people off as far as trade and environment goes in this country. And there are a lot of people that get pissed off. A lot of people that say that the reason we're hated so much around the world is because of our arrogance and the things we do. But usually, for the most part, those things that we are doing are for the best interest of the people in this country. You know, it's like we it, – it is. We try to do as much as we can to make the country – that place that you can get the pussy and the cars, Fair and you enough. drive on Fair roads enough. that aren't full of holes and friggin' bombs. Because it does trickle. It does trickle down. I mean, yeah. if they, if, I don't think they're doing it for us. They're doing it for them. But if they're doing it for them, they can't just go. Okay, I'm gonna pass a law where I can just get pussy and you can't. It's very so. hard to not start with the very wealthy and and their the best off right and then have it trickle down right. to the very poor and they're the struggling ones but you know any society through history no matter how you concoct it has always had that hierarchy that's run through it but what we do is trying to make this the place the place to live on the globe is America and and it is it's yeah. the it's the place to be. I guess it, it really is. I love talking shit about America because it's just a part of what you that's it's a part of what you can do. Yeah. You can't just be in Iraq, some Iraqi comic or Iraqi radio guys. Oh, <laughs> what's with the size of fucking you know the the <laughs> Arab version of Star Jones? That fat. But do you see how how long her face that's covered up is? Holy shit! Yeah, there you go. That's a heckler in Iraq. <laughs> Jacob, DC, what's up? Hey guys. Hey. hey, Patrice, I'll tell you where you're going wrong, man. Okay, go ahead. You live, you live in Manhattan, right? Yeah, fair enough. And you don't think anything of going downstairs to get a slice of pizza or anything like that. This country's great. People live here because it's free. Because because you're not scared, dude. But like, think about it. In Israel, you go down for a slice of pizza. You never know when you're gonna get the shit blown out of you. No, yeah. no I, I agree with you, dude. I'm not. I'm, I, I agree with you. 
You got to say. Yeah, you never said anything. Yeah, I love, you got to uh, understand. I really, I love this country. It's just that, you know, we got to understand, you know, that we're not, you know, this is not you, the, and a the reason bakery is, and shit. You get people, other countries, that get very upset with the fact that this is kind of, you know, pretty cool place to live. A lot of shit going on. They hear from people that have been here or live here, and they and they get a little angry, you know. And then you get the religious fanatics who think everything we do over here is against their God, and they right. want to destroy us. It's all. It is always about our way of life right. and how people can't stand it and want it to end for some reason because they're not involved in it. <laughs> right. I think right. there's a lot of jealousy going on there. I mean, you know? I'm spoiled. I'm not. You know, I'm not like if somebody, like I said, if somebody was like go back to Africa kind of thing, it's like I'm leading the uh, fight to stay because no. that Africa is not the Africa that I was, you know, where I was the king and the queen and I had the queen, five women here and oh, 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 my, my dick is hanging out and fucking go get me some pigs and whatever the fuck they used to, do. you know, that whole Shaka Zulu shit, beautiful bitches with some titties hanging out. Yeah. That shit is gone. And I don't even know how to live over there. It's fucking ripped jeans, Nike shirts, and machetes now. Exactly. That is what is that's, going that's on. That's the new Africa. Let's go to Big Dick Eddie. Big Dick Eddie. Hey, morning, boys. How's it going? Good. Make it fast there. Hey, uh, Patrice, I'll let these crackers throw you off track. I agree with what you're saying, uh, especially with the bullies. Except in Anthony's case, you need to insert Boomer Esiason in there. All right. Yeah, see, but I was <laughs> still all intimidated by, uh, by Boomer. George, Rhode Island. <laughs> Bully motherfucker. Oh, Ramon, get me my atomic bomb so I can nuke these sand niggas. <laughs> Ramon. Oh Ramon. Basically, what he was supposed to say is drop the politics, get back to the funny. All right. Ah. I thought our politics were funny. <laughs> yeah, there was some funny in there. Yeah.